Reporting for High School Sports On Demand, powered by Max Preps, I'm Lauren Brown. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Their uniform is red! Let's go, baby! Let's go! The Allen High School Yellow Jackets face the Manville High School Mavericks beneath their Friday night lights. And the Mavericks don't waste any time. In the first quarter, Derek King shoots the rock to Gary Haynes, who goes the distance on this 64-yard touchdown pass. He dodges defenders to take the ball to the house to make it 6-0 Mavericks. At the 15, on his feet, Gary Haynes will score. Pass complete to number two, Gary Haynes for a Maverick touchdown. With the Julius Montano kick, the Mavericks get the extra point to go up 7-0 over Alvin. They're at 7 0. This is Alvin ISD football. Later in the first quarter, it's second and 10 for Alvin, and the offense tries to move the ball on the QB keeper. Eric Olszewski comes up short after Manville's defensive lineman, Coda Martin, knocks the Alvin QB to the ground. For 91, Coda Martin. The Mavericks offense takes over later in the quarter, and nothing is standing in their way. Check out this run by Austin Alexis. 55 yards down the field to bring the Mavericks within five yards of the goal line. Just one play later, second and goal for the Mavericks, Jacoby Perro drives the ball in for the one-yard score to give Manville a 13-point advantage. The extra point gives the Mavericks a 14-0 lead after the kick by Julius Montano. Hit at the middle of the field, pushes forward, arms come up, touchdown, Mavericks. Still in the first quarter, third and seven for Manville, Derek King pitches the rock to Austin Alexis for the 30-yard pass to That's give the Mavericks the, the first down. King finished the game with 11 okay. completions on 15 attempts. Same drive for the Mavericks, and they're going for it on fourth down. Derek King hits up Jawan Manuel, who dodges an Alvin defender as he makes the grab. Mavericks get the first down they needed. And it's a good thing they did. Devon Penniman takes the ball the rest of the way. 14 yards in for the score. Mavericks go up 20-0 on the Yellow Jackets. The extra point was no good, but the Mavericks still lead this one. Manville 21, your Yellow Jackets 0. Less than a minute to go in the first quarter. Alvin needing a first down. Alvin's Luis Garcia looking for an open man. Instead, he throws it to the wrong guy. Manville's Deontay Anderson with the interception. He takes the ball the other way to give Manville back the ball. Just a few plays later, Derek King is looking for an opening, and he finds one. King makes the 10-yard touchdown pass to Gary Haynes, 26-0 Mavericks. This time, the Mavericks go for two. The duo of King and Haynes is at it again, and they make it happen. King finds Haynes in the end zone. Mavericks lead 28-0 over the Yellow Jackets. Haynes would finish the game with three receptions for 125 yards. Later in the quarter, it's second and 10 for the Mavericks. Derek King shows off his moves on the field. He weaves and dances around defenders to take the ball 18 yards down the field to give his team another first down. Same drive, Derek King goes long down the field to Jacoby Perro, but it ends up in the wrong hands. King is intercepted by Alvin's Brandon McGahee. Now keep your eye on this next play. Alvin with the possession, but Manville's defense goes to work. Defensive lineman Coda Martin with the huge tackle in the end zone. He knocks down Andrew Seguero in the end zone, resulting in a safety for Manville. Mavericks go up 30-0. Late in the second quarter, Alvin would get on the board as Luis Garcia hammers a 22-yard kick through the uprights to make it 30-3 in favor of Manville. With just over three minutes to play in the first half, Derek King throws a 52-yard bomb to Gary Haynes. It's good for another six on the board for Manville. With the extra point, it's 37-3 Mavericks. Manville would finish the game with 414 yards in the game, passing for 228 of them. Manville wins the game 37-13 over Alvin. The Mavericks move to 4-1 on the season and remain undefeated in district play. Reporting for High School Sports On Demand, powered by Max Preps, I'm Lauren Brown.